Liverpool. Congratulations! 20 cities wanted it, but just one will provide a home for what many call the Olympics of singing. This evening, Liverpool was announced as the host of next year's Eurovision, and the locals are clearly excited. I can't believe it's come to Liverpool. Like, oh, this is brilliant. We're out tonight, you know, brought my mum out for the first time in months. Always a best time to celebrate Eurovision, so why not? We're going to have a great time, aren't we? Yeah, we sure are. I can't wait. Can't wait. So exciting. It's amazing. Like, we haven't had anything like this in England for a while, so it's great that it's being hosted in Liverpool. Like, definitely. Ukraine! In Turin, five months ago, Ukrainians' Kalish Orchestra lifted the Eurovision trophy. But the ongoing war means they can't host next year's show. So second place UK stepped in. Host city Liverpool is actually twinned with the Ukrainian city of Odessa. It's very Liverpool, isn't it? You know, we put our arms around people. And I think that this, this Eurovision is obviously really different. It shouldn't be here. It should be in Ukraine. So for us, the relationship that we've got, especially with our city Odessa, has been really important to us and we'll do them proud. You know, we'll do the people of Ukraine proud hosting it here, but we are absolutely the host. It's not our gig. The international music show will come to the 11,000 seater MS Bank Arena with the grand final on Saturday, May the 13th, 2023. The Cheryl Baker won Eurovision for the UK with Bucks Fizz in 1981. She thinks Liverpool is the perfect choice. It's the home of music, isn't it, with the Beatles and everything. I, I just think that, and it's about time, you know, that it went to the Northwest. It's been in London, it's been in Scotland, it's been in Birmingham. It's time for the Northwest to have it. So I'm really happy that it's in Liverpool and I can't wait to book my hotel room. <laughs> well, rooms in some Liverpool hotels have already doubled in price for the Eurovision weekend when thousands will descend on the city. Now we know the host, fans can finalise their plans. We'd be desperate for the host city announcement because we can't plan much until we know that. Uh, I mean, next week we're already having loads of meetings to try and find uh, a venue. We need a club venue for at least a thousand people. Uh, and then we can start putting the whole program together, but we're, we're short of time now. Liverpool has just seven months to put together a Eurovision that will honour Ukraine and be watched on TV by 160 million people. Rishi Davda, News at 10.